guys welcome back to my channel so today I am going to be reviewing a foundation I'm not sure that I've ever reviewed a foundation on my channel before but foundations are one of my favorite makeup products to try because that's just something that we use every day or I do anyway so I'm always looking for that perfect foundation so today I'm going to be reviewing the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation that's a mouthful so this foundation retails for $60 Canadian on the Sephora website the bottle is glass it's a matte plastic packaging on the top it just looks really expensive I really appreciate NARS packaging it's simplistic but it's very sleek um, luxurious it's kind of a sexy packaging if you ask me this foundation claims to be 16 hour wear medium to buildable full coverage foundation um the radiant so it's supposed to be like a glowing foundation not completely matte but the nars sheer glow foundation is probably in the top three if not the top of my favorite foundations so i was really excited to hear nars was coming out with a new kind of glowy foundation so just a little bit of a background i do have dry normal skin i'm prone to eczema i actually have an eczema outbreak right here right now and um i'm extremely fair so i have a lot of acne scarring and i do get acne primarily throughout these areas so i personally like a more fuller coverage foundation and i like something that's more on the glowy side of things so today I am going to be trying on this foundation for you um, just testing it out gonna check in a few times throughout the day gonna be looking to see if this foundation oxidizes um, if it rubs off um, just how it's looking by the end of the day so hopefully it's looking okay <laughs> so if all that sounds good to you make sure to continue watching make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already check me out on my social media accounts I am at keeksta89 on Instagram and Twitter, Pinterest, all that good stuff. Leave all the links down below. If you like my makeup today, I'll also leave all that in the description down below. Um, but without further ado, let's just jump into this foundation review. Okay guys, so I'm just out of the shower, obviously. Um, does anybody else do that? Get ready before they do their hair, anyway. Don't mind my hair. Obviously before I started filming I did do a bit of skin prep. So first thing I did was after I washed my face I toned my face with this Pixi Glow Tonic. Isn't this cute? It says my name on it. <laughs> I just got sent this yesterday so I was dying to try this out. So I used this. Then I used a bit of this SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. And my skin is incredibly dry, so I also used a bit of this Sunday Riley CEO Repair Moisturizer. This I really love. I use this all the time. So not to skew the results too much, this is usually what I do. I go in with a skin prep. Um, my skin is really dry. I'm prone to eczema. As you can see, I have a lot of acne scarring. I'm very fair, so I scar really easily. Um, I don't pick my pimples, but even if I get a pimple, I know I'm guaranteed to get a scar. So I'm going to just go in with my regular primers that I usually use so I'm going to use this Laura Mercier blemishless primer along with this Lorac light source three-in-one illuminating primer and I'm gonna mix these both both together I obviously did my brows too because I just feel like way too naked without having my brows on <laughs> so like I mentioned I have a lot of acne scarring I seem to get the acne around here for the most part and um, I do have a little eczema outbreak right here which is pretty well moisturized right now so you can't really notice it too much so hopefully my foundation will go on nice and smooth so I wasn't sure what color to choose when I was picking up foundations because I don't even live anywhere remotely close to Sephora the closest Sephora is like nine hours away from me if we're driving so that was out of the question so um, I went by the chart and I picked Gobi which is supposed to be like a light with a yellow undertone and it comes with a pump which is great I think if you're paying this much for a foundation it should definitely come with a pump I love NARS sheer glow but it doesn't come with a pump and it's an expensive foundation but anyways finally <laughs> they've listened to us complain long enough I suppose and this one comes with a pump it's a nice glass bottle and um, a matte plastic packaging it looks really expensive it's actually really big which I'm sure you can tell um, it's like the full size of my hand, but it's skinny. So hopefully this is a good foundation match. It says to shake really well. I'm just going to squirt a little bit out on my hand. Need to prime pump. So this is one pump. I'm going to say two pumps. 
So we'll try two pumps to see how that does. I'm gonna use a foundation brush for this because that's just how I've been applying my foundation lately. So I'm gonna use the Ma Magic Complexion Brush by Charlotte Tilbury. Really like this foundation brush. Let's just cross our fingers that this is the right foundation color for me. So I do have a bit of a yellow undertone. Um, let's see. Hmm, so it's on first application, I think I picked up way too much on my brush. So I'm gonna have to like really work this into the skin. It's actually a lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be. So I think once blended out is actually gonna be a really good foundation match for me. Oh. So I like to start um in the area of my face that I have the most acne. So I like to start from the outer areas. I'm interested to see if this is gonna oxidize at all. Maybe I didn't need it two pumps. This is actually really thick on <laughs> first impression. It's not like the Narshir Glow at all so far. I actually have a beauty blender here, so I'm going to use this just to kind of buff it in a little bit. Okay, so one half of my face with foundation and the other half without, so let's do the other half now. It is really full coverage, like it claims. First impressions though, like it does seem like it's really clinging to my dry patches and I prepped my skin really, really well before putting on this foundation, so a little concerning. And I'm just gonna use like another little half a pump just to get the little crevices and stuff. So when I read up on it on the website, it actually suggested to apply it with your fingers, so I didn't do that. But I feel like most people will probably use a brush or a beauty blender. I think it is actually a pretty good color match for me. And I'm gonna use this beauty blender to really buff it into my skin. So, first thoughts. I'm gonna get really close to the camera so you can see but like right here it's definitely clinging to some dry patches around my nose it's clinging over here as well it's clinging uh kind of concerning um i don't know if it made a difference where i went in with a brush i'm just gonna apply like a little bit to the beauty blender and i'm gonna try and like go over the areas where it's clinging to my dry patches and um, see if I can fix it but like yeah so you can see I don't know if that's even making any difference let's just look really closely here again you can see it's clinging to my dry areas around my nose is clinging and over here it's um not sitting as great as what I would like it to I am going to set it with a powder. I'm gonna go put on my concealer first of all, and then I'm gonna set it with powder. Then I'll come back and I'll show what it looks like after setting it with the powder. Hopefully it'll look a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna give it a good go. I'm gonna wear it all day. I'm not gonna to touch it up, and so you can really see. But first impressions, it was a lot thicker than what I thought and what it looked. It was really full coverage. A little went a long way. Um, so yeah, so I'll go set and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and powdered. Um, I used the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder, and I also used a bit of my concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape, but I only used the concealer under my eyes because I really wanted to give this foundation like a good first impression to see. Um, so anyway, once I went in with the powder, um, it does seem like it kind of blended a little bit better on my skin however i'm just like taking a really good close look now and um it seems like the foundation is not really sticking to the areas where i would like a little bit of extra coverage like you can see really see right here under my nose where i do have that um eczema patch it's just like not sticking there at all and it, off camera i did go in with the foundation on the beauty blender and i did try to um really press it in there but it seems like it just doesn't want to stick also i do have like a little pimple right here and it seems like it's just 
kind of not really stick in there either um all in all though um it definitely does have like a fuller coverage effect but it seems like it's just not clinging to <laughs> the areas that i want to cover and it's clinging to all the drier patches which is surprising because like i really prepped my skin really well before putting on this foundation but from afar it doesn't look bad <laughs> Um, so we're just gonna have to see how this goes. So what time is it now? So it is 2 10 p.m. Now I'm just gonna go and continue on with the rest of my makeup like I would um, I'll pop on camera Afterwards after I'm all done getting ready and I'll check in a couple times throughout the day just to kind of see how it goes and um, Stay tuned so after putting on my makeup, um, it did, it does seem like this area right here seemed like it minimized my pores. So I like that. Again, it really didn't cling to this area right here that um, concerns me kind of because that's where I want coverage, um, where I have redness, eczema. Also the dry patches, even when I went over it with my powders and I just tried to like blend that out, it's still kind of like noticeable, but from a distance, it doesn't look too bad. So um, I do like the way it looks from here, but the closer I get, uh, I don't know, I don't know, but it's not overly cakey um so we're just gonna have to see how it wears so i'll check in we're running out doing some errands uh, i'll check in probably in a few hours just to see how it goes so see you then hi i'm back for my first check-in so it is it is 7 21 right now so it's been about five hours am i right in saying that I think so. The foundation has held up pretty good. I'm gonna zoom in so you can really see. <laughs> Much to my dismay. So let's just look at it close, shall we? So we can see like around my nose area, the redness is really again starting to creep through. Never covered it much to begin with anyway. Um, you can still see the dry patch here. Um, it seems like the foundation's wearing off a little bit in this area. Um, over here, pretty much the same um, in my t-zone where I do get a little bit more oily it seems like some of the foundation is kind of gone up here my zit is kind of still covered still covered but uh wearing off a little bit again so I will say though um, I have a one and a half year old it's like minus 12 here today it's windy it's snowing I was downtown got groceries ate had pizza so all in all, I don't think it's holding up too bad. Like I said, I haven't touched up at all and I'm not going to. So I will check back in probably in another few hours with my final thoughts and we'll see. First impressions is not as good as Sheer Glow, but that's a hard one to surpass. Hey you guys, so I'm back for my final check-in. It is 2.21 in the morning. It's Saturday night. We had some friends over. I'm getting ready to go to bed now, and so I thought I would show you the progress of how the foundation f held up. So really zooming in here. But you can see around my nose, it's really pretty much gone. Um, around my mouth, um, this area here. Yeah, so it's pretty much all worn off my nose as well. It didn't oxidize, so not from what I can tell, like the color stayed really true, which I really appreciate that. This foundation has literally been on now for 12 hours. Is it 16 hour wear? Obviously I don't think so because this is just about 12 hours and you can see that it has really broken up on my face and I actually consider my skin normal to dry. So if you had oily skin, I really don't think that this would have held up even half as long. I think I will have to continue using this um, just to really get a feel of things. But from first impressions, I wouldn't say um, run out and get it. I think that there's a lot of better foundations out there right now, probably, unfortunately. I really love NARS products, so I am gonna continue to use this and hopefully I'll change my mind about it, but is it worth the buy for me right now? Does it live up to its claims? I'm gonna have to say no.
definitely go to Sephora or wherever, get a sample, try it out first, just see how you like it. Um, I'm going to continue to keep using it, but it's not my favorite right off the bat. I'm not totally in love with it. Have you guys tried this foundation? What are your thoughts on it? Please let me know. If you guys aren't already, make sure to, that you're subscribed to my channel. Check out my Instagram, my Twitter. Make sure you subscribe to that as well. My username is at Keeksta89. I also have a Facebook page. I'm going to leave all that in the drop down bar below so you can check that out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Love ya. Bye.